morning guys welcome to the video now I know it's kind of unlike me but it is still dark and I'm up already I got up at like quarter to six because I wanted to start day two of the coast to coast a little bit earlier see the sunrise and enjoy the cooler weather and also get to the next campsite in the afternoon so I can enjoy it for a little while I'm going to Silver Lake today which I think was around it was either 45 to like 49 miles it was somewhere in there I did check I do have the GPX downloaded, so if any of you need the GPX, just leave a comment and I can probably like make a Google Drive link or send you an email of it, something like that. Now I'm going to have some breakfast, break down the tent, and get on the move. The tent's packed up, thought I'd quickly show you the site before I leave. By the way, this is the Starkey Wilderness Park, if you haven't seen my video from yesterday. Just packing up the last of my stuff. First, I'm going to sit down and enjoy leftover pasta from last night. Yum. I had bought this cereal, but I guess in hindsight, I didn't need it. Because, I, you know, I'm going to pick some stuff up at the shops today. Mmm. Alright, we're getting out of here. Starkey Wilderness gets an A+, plus for sure. 15 bucks, great facilities, beautiful campsites, the bugs weren't even that bad. For sure, this is a good spot to camp. Just gonna go dump my trash, use the toilet, and get out of here. So this morning I realized that this whole time I've been using the women's. I came over to use it earlier and whoops. But then I went to the men's and straight away I could smell it was the men's. And if you've seen my video from yesterday, I was going on about how nice the bathroom was. But obviously that was why. It's because it's the women's one. So I decided to keep using it. If anyone asks, I identify as a woman. See, this is what you'll be camping in here. That was my spot. Isn't it so nice? And FYI, it took me just under two hours to get going. Um, about maybe an hour and 40. But that does include a bit of time spent video editing yesterday. Well, I suppose this is it. My GPS isn't working, so I'm not 100% sure. I gotta grab a bit of footage of it just in case it's fleeting. But this morning so far is the nicest part of the trail so far. Nice, quiet, beautiful forest. This is gonna be one of those well-filmed sections because it's so pretty. And I wanna make sure I've got some good footage to show you all. Oh, wow, it's like a swamp to my, le uh, my right. Gotta capture a bit more of this. This is so good. Mood elevates so much when it's quieter and prettier trails away from roads. Like, I can't even explain. Oh, excuse me. It's just like the dopamine, you know, you get more of a hit. It just makes you feel like, yeah, like this is why I'm doing this, you know. This is like why you do these trips. Because sometimes you just stuck in like the dregs of some town or you know some like busy road and it's like what am I doing but then like somewhere out here I gotta admit the C2C is better than I thought already for sure and I'm really quite impressed if it was like this the rest of the way I've man I tell you what the dream might be over Suncoast trail now and I can hear the traffic <laughs> I know, but at least we're on a trail, or at least we're on a trail, thank you. This is what we're leaving behind. That is so sad. Oh well, we'll see more new things though. Actually got to cross the roads here. Can. Uh, actually, it might all be closed. No cars, no cars. It's weird, I'm pretty much just riding along an interstate, actually. Which is definitely noisy. But, you know, on the left, it's still really beautiful country. Just past this wildlife viewing area and I turned around. It looked really pretty. Potential stealth camp. Oh, but you'd have to listen to the traffic. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That is a really pretty little scene. Ah, look at that, what a classic Florida for ya. So I'm taking a quick pit stop to put my arm and leg covers on. 
the sun is really beating down and it's getting pretty hot. I want to try and protect my skin from it a little bit. There's actually this random shack out here. See this? Ah. So you can just sit here and enjoy the sounds of the highway. Still just riding beside this interstate. Trail's been nice, pretty flat. Can't complain too much, just a little noisy. I just stuck my headphones in, listening to some music now. Just trying to drown out some of the traffic sound. This has got to be the most wind charms I've ever seen. So we're just coming up on that group from this morning. Looks like they had a flat tire. Let's see what the story is. Two flat tires, I know. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, got a flat, did ya? Shame. Here's a bit of trail art for you. It's actually kind of nice to see that, you know, like especially since there hasn't been a lot since we left that wilderness trail. So thanks to whoever did that. So I don't know if these hills are natural or if it's just like a fallout from the interstate that they built. But yeah, it's been like up, down, up, down. It'll be interesting at the end of the day to see how much elevation I've done. I still don't think it'll be much. I should have checked yesterday. I'm sure it was like nothing. At another little rest stop, trailhead, restrooms, water. Benches. Damn, we could even have lunch here. I don't even know what time it is. Uh, how many miles are we at? We are at. Oops, I nearly stopped the ride. 29.7 miles. And we've just come off the Suncoast Trail now. Don't cross this bridge because we don't want to do that. I think the trail must keep going north, but it's time to start heading east, finally. Like we're supposed to be going to the east, we're going north for like two days. Oh, I'm so happy about this. It looks like there's a trail along Cortez Boulevard here. I thought I'd have to be on the road, which you might be able to see. There is a shoulder and a bike line. But you know, <laughs> prefer to be off the busy roads. So yeah, thank you coast to coast. The trail gods have shone upon us. All right, we made it to Brooksville. I uh, wouldn't mind seeing the town hall. Good neighbor trail. I guess that's what we want to hit now. So I just turned around and came back down the trail because I saw this sign, large pizza, two toppings, 10 bucks. And I, like, I went through my head and I was like, oh yeah. And I was like, wait, that sounds pretty good. I think I got pizza. So Hungry Howie's, we'll see if we can find it. Although the trail just kind of turned into a footpath, so I guess I gotta go on the road. Not ideal, but I have what I hate on footpaths. It's like going onto these roads and then back on the footpath. It's always like a bump. Except for this one, literally every time it's a bump, except that one's literally flat. For your information, looks like there's a bike store here. Brookville Bicycle Center. Brooksville, sorry. It's right off the trail or footpath so if you need something I almost don't believe what I'm saying I don't know how well it's gonna come out on camera but this is the biggest hill that I have seen in Florida hands down I'm literally like in disbelief it's just really weird I think the most climbing I do is over passes and bridges I just can't even fathom this at all. Do you see that? Literally so weird to be climbing a hill. It's pretty steep too. This is, what is this? This is crazy. And of course, literally in town, not even on a trail, I pick up a stick. Caught in the derailleur, hopefully it's not damaged. On the hill as well, like the worst place. Ugh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Got it. Made to the courthouse. 
some people getting married, taking some photos. Congratulations. It's a cool town. We're heading down that way now. So, I messed up a little. The Walmart and the Publix are kind of back a little bit the way we came, sort of. And I need to pick something up for lunch. So, yeah, it's like the downside of not having much food, I guess. This is very cute. It's supposed to be a historical spot. But I don't know where. Heritage Museum, Brooks Ave Historic District. Let's go down here. The trail must be down there. I love how they just built this town up on top of this hill. Oh man, they've got these Augusta blocks too. It's the same blocks as they have in the streets in St. Pete. Man, they are everywhere, these Augusta blocks. I have to film it. Another hill, or I guess it's the same hill, but I'm going down at this time. Ooh, it's actually so nice, wow. Had to turn around and get a clip of these babies. Seen a lot of this sort of stuff in Florida actually. These monster truck things must be popular here. Wow, look at that little one at the end there. Rolling into the Publix. There's also a Walmart and a Wien Dexas. Mm, bike lock over there. Oops, that's a curb right there. Welcome to Publix. Uh, if you already don't know, I use the Wi-Fi at the supermarkets because I don't have a working SIM card. Saves me a few bucks. And honestly, the Wi-Fi at Publix, and especially at Walmart, is really good. All right, so I picked up lunch here. Not sure how it cost me $20 or $17, anyway. I got the most American tomato I've ever seen. It's so big. Got a loaf of bread. Probably gonna smash like two thirds of that now. Organic cucumber. Getting the veggies in. Organic salsa. And for dinner, I got some rice. I really wanted to buy some sorbet, but I realized I already have more food than I need. So I wanted to keep the weight down, keep the weight down. Now I'm gonna go back the way I came. I saw a really nice little park that I'll show you guys. And I think it's where the neighborhood trail starts. All right, I'm enjoying lunch now. So good actually. These sandwiches, just like slapping them together. They're actually going down really good. If you want good bread in the US, I mean, it's really hard to find like good bread in the US. But Publix, I would say it's probably been the best supermarket that I've found for bread. It's still not great bread, but it's like, Good bread. And by the way, I'm eating this right at the trailhead for the Good Neighbor Trail. And I'm next to the old railway museum too, which is cool. This cute old building. I'm heading back up the street, up the hill, into Brooksville to try and find that historical area. Look at this Civil War mural. Isn't that something? It actually really surprised me. It is huge beautiful it's amazing it really like paints the scene really well so I just found the tree of life and living water which just so happens to be a gold tree with water coming out of it it's a cool town I think we're gonna go down that street now this busy one I think that's where the historical area is so I found the museum and I talked to the ladies here that told me where the historical area is with all the old houses. So I'm gonna loop back around. I went right past it by the sound of it. I realized I didn't capture it too well. Gives you a bit better of a picture of it. Oh yeah, I think we found the historic district, guys. Damn beautiful too. Hey, puss, puss. Puss, puss, puss. Puss, puss, puss. Yeah, check out this street. Pretty sure this is the one. Look at those trees. Wow. I think that's exactly how I imagine one of these homes to look. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments. Gonna you know, keep making our way down the street. Look at this beautiful old place. It's like perfect location. You're right across from the trail. I mean, this town is sick. I would want to live here. I'm surprised it's abandoned like this. Yeah, so now we're jumping on the Good Neighbor Trailhead, which I believe to be about 10 miles. Where I had lunch is right there. I'll show you. Cute little gazebo. 
and there's this hella old looking train station here. I had to appreciate this train station for a minute. It looks so old. I have to look it up on Wikipedia later. I think it's a museum, but I think it's closed. It is honestly so nice to be off the coast. I mean, I love the beach, but the coast in Florida, it's just too much. It's too many people, too many condos, too many cars. Out here, it just feels a bit more normal. Seems a bit more real. Mm. Even the air smells better out here, you know? It's more familiar being from a country town myself. How you doing? Yeah. Hello. This dog's so cute. Hey, buddy. You come and say hello to all the people on the trail, do you, woofer? Hey? Yeah, how do you do? Hey? This might be the quietest piece of trail I've ridden yet. And it is really nice, even though I'm next to a road. Hardly any cars at all. You wouldn't even need the trail here. Oh, it's so nice. Lots of like little farmhouses and stuff. Maybe that's why it's called the Good Neighbours Trail. A lot of them live close together. Just so glad I've got this trail to enjoy for like 10 miles. And then onto another trail. Oh, so good. So good. Tomorrow is going to be the day. Tomorrow is going to be the day where we've got like the most off the trails of the whole trip. It's going to be like 20 or 25 miles. I might have a new favourite part of this trail. Depending how deep we get into this forest, but this is great. We had like six or so miles in the Starkey up wilderness that was away from like anything. I wonder how long we will have through here. This is the Florida I've been wanting. No people, no noise. I'm getting closer and closer. Probably done about seven or eight miles on this trail now. I think it ends at about 10. Just stop for a minute. It's so quiet. Let's check this out. No one around. Isn't that so good? Oh, I've got a burrito shell from yesterday. I'm gonna like eat while I ride now. With Lakuchi State Forest. Made it to the end of the neighborhood trail. Good neighbors. Pretty sure I'm hanging a right here. Bike up. Probably check the map, but my campsite shouldn't be far from here. All right, so this must be the 75. My camp is left of here. Hopefully there's a way to get to it. Like I thought that'd just be like a turn off the trail. Although I'm not saying anything. Wouldn't that just be typical? Oh no. Oh wait, I think I see a gap. Oh yeah, I see a gap guys. Sweet. Yep, here's my exit. Ew. Oh no, that's rocky ass. Oh God. Okay. Whew. Silver Lake Recreation Complex. Camping, that's what we want to see. Okay, now I just gotta get a campsite. Nope, there's no one here. <laughs> oh no. Alright, well we're at Silver Lake, but no walk-up campsite reservations have to be made online. Uh, okay, I got no SIM card, so that's not going to work. I'm just going to have to go and camp. Um, doesn't have pricing or anything. But, we've got Silver Lake Campground, Cypress Glen Campground, and also Crooked River Campground. So I'm going to go check out Silver Lake, and then I'll probably check out Cypress Glen. Silver Lake, the only problem is it's pretty close to this highway. It might be a bit noisy. So I think I might go Cypress Glen. So there's the day use area. We're going to Crooked River Campground. So I just spoke to a local that lives near the entrance there. And then he was getting the mail for the park ranger who then just turned up. And the park ranger sorted me out. 
he's put me into the last campsite, crooked something or other, whatever the hell it was got, I forgot now. And site 60, 61 near the bathroom. Works out for me. And I told him I was like, I don't have a like I don't have cell service, I don't even have a provider. He was like, oh, let me just check on my phone. And he just looked it up and he's like, oh yeah, we got availability in this one. He's just like, yeah, just go grab it. I just came into the first campground because I could see the lake and I'm not sure if you can see it from my campground or not. So I thought I'd just quickly come down. Oh, I better get ready so I can get out of here. Set the gears. Oh, wow. This is nice. Whoa! Look at this silver lake. Isn't that just beautiful? Finally seeing some of like the inland Florida, you know? Don't know if I'm just imagining it, but like the sights and like the smell today remind me a lot of home where I'm from in Western Australia. I think it, it's like the sandy soil or something. I'm not sure like what it is that makes me think of Pemberton, but even I guess like the smell of the burnt trees the pine sort of forests because we have plantations and even the smell of the water here I'm like getting like nostalgic here nice smooth sealed road it's getting quieter as we get away from the highway too here we are Crooked River Campground now I've got to find site 60 or 61 holy shit this is nice this is way better than that first thought site look at this you can't even hear the road anymore. Bathroom's right over there. Fuck, perfect. This must be why it's called Crooked River. This campsite is so pretty. Look at that. So in the end we did 57.1 miles and 785 feet of elevation. So I have the site set up now. Put the tent up. It's kind of under this tree but I think this tree will fall away if it was to fall and obviously they've got that to hang your bag up so I don't have to worry about hanging the food up the rope and yeah I mean check this place this is just so good damn so before I shower I'm gonna go for a quick walk I want to go down to that river I just showed you it looks like you can hike along it a little bit and it's just so pretty so I'd like to just yes yeah, like 10 minutes or something well, I can definitely recommend this campsite. You can see why. And so far, the bugs aren't even too bad. I can't really complain at all. I did ask if you can swim. I just asked some other campers. They said, probably not, but they weren't too sure. I mean, I guess you can swim if you've got the guts, but there's probably gators in there. So that means I'm not getting in. Can confirm that the showers are really good. Water is hot. The bathrooms definitely can't complain. The water's warm, man, then it's no problem. Just starting dinner now, got the water boiling. The stove seems to be working okay after the sugar incident from the last video. I'm gonna boil it up, have almost two cups of rice. I'm gonna have it with the baked beans. And if I'm still hungry, I've got a little bit of bread and cereal. So I was just looking at tomorrow's ride. Now tomorrow's gonna be probably the not so nice day where we're doing like a big chunk on the 50 on the roads which is a shame considering i've come this far all on trails which is actually so crazy um so sorry i was just checking the lighting yeah so the only thing is it'll be if i there's two campsites there's lake uh what is it sorry magnolia park which is about 54 miles or then there's the horse park um yeah claricona horse park which is 57 miles tomorrow which both are you know most certainly doable the only thing is for the next day that means that's going to be kind of a short day from the magnolia it'll only be about 27 miles to the next campsite which is lake monroe there's another campsite up near that, but it only adds a couple miles anyway. And I think Lake Monroe has the shower facilities. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering why I'm fully clothed, it's not because it's cold, it's because it like protects me from the mosquitoes. They most certainly can't get through this puffy thing. And these pants, they can kind of get through, and the socks, they definitely seem to be getting through them. 
but I find it works better than the spray and well I don't have any spray which I don't really like to use it anyway just got a rug up but yeah they're getting my feet actually my feet are itchy dinner is served baked beans and rice actually came out really good I've gotten a lot better at cooking the rice you want to boil the water first and obviously it's like two cups of water to one cup of rice once it's boiling add the rice in give it a quick stir then put the lid back on and try and minimize how many times you open the lid to stir it you might need to do it a couple of times just to stop it burning on the bottom then when almost all the water's gone you turn it off you let it sit for 10 minutes yeah so it turns out i have almost an hour of footage from today i was just checking then usually i aim for about 20 minutes so that is insane it's going to be a lot of editing to get that down so i'm going to call the video here and i hope you guys enjoyed it tune in for the next one join me on the ride on the highway tomorrow and yeah i'll see you then